Okay, let's move forward. Three phase electric service. Three phase electric service. Is there such a thing? I do not think so. I showed clearly in previous videos that single phase service is actually single cycle. You have one cycle. You see it in your cycle graph, or you could call it a revolution graph. This is one revolution of a generator inside, okay? You could say you have two phases, A and B, but it's still a single cycle. We talked about that. No need to go on and on, all right? So in the so-called three phase, you actually have three cycles. It's triple cycle service. You look at your cycle graph. This shows one revolution of a generator that creates triple cycle service. You see this here, this graph? It shows one revolution. And you see three cycles per graph. Three, not just one. Right? Now, they say that phases are out of phase. They can be out of phase and they go on and on in your... Um, your school books and your classrooms and where they teach electricity and such. But these cycles are offset. They are not out of phase. They can't be out of phase. So out of phase, what does that really mean? Is it real? Let's look at single cycle. You have phase A and phase B. That makes one cycle. It's very clear, very simple. Nothing can be out of phase. In any given single cycle, there is nothing outside of the two different phases. There are no phases missing, no phases not functioning or offset. The phase part of the cycle in the single cycle is an action part. You can't not have it. It can't be offset, and it certainly can't be missing, or you wouldn't have a cycle. Now, if you look at triple cycle... All right. Can something be out of phase? Okay. Can something be out of phase in the triple cycle electric service? All right. There's three cycles per cycle graph. Each cycle is a cycle, not a phase. It's not a phase. That term phase has to go. It's crappy. There are two phases in each in a single cycle, A and B. So if you can't stop talking about phases, if it's something in your brain or your habits or your practice, and you just can't get over it, then if you look at this and you know, because I explained it, if you know that each cycle has two phases, A and B, then this triple cycle, all right, depiction in this cycle graph here, all right, if that's three cycles and each cycle has two phases, this so-called three-phase service would actually have six phases per revolution of that generator. So calling it three-phase or even triple-phase doesn't work. It doesn't make any sense. It's crap. Okay, let's look at these other um, features here that help fortify my proposal, triple cycle. Each cycle is one perfectly timed generation of current. There's no haphazard happenstance crap in here. It's all beautifully planned and, and, and identical. The generator makes this beautiful thing here. It gives more efficient power to your system than single cycle, okay? It's a beautiful thing. So each cycle is a perfectly time generation of current. They are equal. They're not out of phase. They're offset. One's just moved over and then the other one's moved over. At any given moment, a single given conductor is either a send or a return. A send or a return, never simultaneously both. Now, this is the key to understanding and accepting the term triple cycle. I have to be careful because this is hard to say. I, I don't speak well. 
you will have one send return pairing for each cycle. Let's say you have a send here, all right, on, on black, then your red and blue would be your returns. All right, this is a new way of thinking. So the, the red and blue theoretically would be one return, but the point is you have one send return pairing for each cycle. For each of these three cycles, you're gonna have a send return pairing. And I use the send return phrasal term because when I used to play in a band, we had amplifiers and we would put our effects units and attach it to our amplifiers and to our system through sends and returns. And that's where I got the idea because using that send return idea, you can more easily understand three, a, a, a electrical service with three cycles instead of one. It's easier, okay? Now, let's say you have single cycle, right? We talked about that, and we showed a transformer. So if your black is your send, then your red would be your return. You have one send return pairing here. Now, this is how you can better understand single cycle as opposed to triple cycle, okay? Because ordinarily you say, oh, this is, no, Joey, this is called single phase. And you have two conductors here. And then, and then somebody tells you, this is, this is three phase. That's what they call it. And you see only three conductors. You can say, well, how on God's earth is that even possible? Why would this be single cycle with two conductors? And this is three phase with uh, only three conductors. Now, that's not including the neutral. We're not talking about the neutral here. We're talking about the basics. So you see logically in the brain, if you think in terms of send return pairings, you can see you have a single cycle created here. And over here, you have three send return pairings. You have black and red, black and blue, and red and blue. That's how you get your three send return pairings. You get triple cycle. You get the three cycles that are needed. They are not phases. They are not out of phase, which is impossible. They are offset. So if you look at a, if you look at this here, cycle graph, that's what I call it, it's very specific. It's one revolution of a generator, okay? If you look at this, you see at different points in here, let's say 90 degrees, 210, let's say 180, you'll see that the send return, all right, pairings are always changing. They're always changing. And that, that's what gives you that nice kind of steady uniform power. So let's, let's take a look at a few. At 90 degrees, what do we have here? This is hard for me to see. Okay, you'll have black, right, would be your send, and your red and blue would be returning. Here at 180 degrees, okay, you see your red is sending and your blue is returning, but nothing's going on at the black, the black conductor at 180. You say, well, how do you know that? Well, look at your cycle graph. At 180, you see your black cycle, all right, see down here? You see right here, it's just momentarily, it's like a millionth of a second. There's pretty much no amperage here, right there. Now, remember, I'm not an electrician. I'm speaking in common sense terms. I'm a lay person. I'm just a dummy. But I'm looking at this profession and trying to say, why do they use these terms when to the average lay person, the average common folk, they won't make any sense. They'll only make sense to seasoned professionals who have been immersed in this crap terminology. Okay, let's look at 210 degrees on your cycle graph. So you see your, you have a black returning and a red sending and a blue returning. 
and you'll see that on your cycle graph here. You'll see that, what I just said. You'll see that depicted right here. And then finally, you have 330 degrees here, 330. You have your black and red returning and your blue sending. That's, that's the terminology I use because it makes sense. And you say on here, well, where is that? Oh, it's right here. You see your blue and your black and red are down here. See, your blue is sending and your black and red are both returning at, at one point. So without taking forever, I'm trying to go fast, trying to show that you have single cycle service, you have triple cycle service, nothing is out of phase anywhere. That's a crappy, horrible term. Uh, I'll review this toward the end, but I want to show you something. You say, well, that's just your opinion. And the National Electrical Code people with their code making panels aren't going to change anything because you don't like it. They're not going to change terms and, and, and procedure and concepts just because some goofy guy who's losing his hair doesn't agree. They're not going to do that. But if they think it through, if somebody like a professional electrical electrician or an engineer would present this, it would carry more weight. And I want somebody to pick it up and take it. You say, well, what does nature provide? What does nature give us? We have a life that we live and part of it's unconscious. We don't even know what's going on. It's the unconscious. We tap into it a little bit when we dream at night, just a little bit. Our conscious level dips down in, picks up some junk, gobbledy goops it together and makes a dream. That's what dreams are. A little bit of conscious with unconscious. But when we think things through and we invent things and we come up with stuff, are we dealing with something unconscious? Is nature, is biology telling us something that we ordinarily wouldn't see because we're not paying attention or we're not like the Buddha, we're not awake, we're just unconscious idiots walking around? What does nature, what does biology tell us? What's given to us in plain sight that we're not seeing? Well, this is what I do. I look for this in music. I look for it in grammar. And I'm doing it with electrical. And I'm almost done. Electrical versus vascular biology. Vascular. You have veins and arteries and stuff in your body. What does nature tell you? What does nature say? You know what? I might have an analogy for you that will be believable in the field of electrical work or electronics. Well, you have your service entrance conductor. It comes into your home and into your panel. You have conductor number one and number two. Conductor one can be black or blue, doesn't matter, or it could be black and blue in a, in a triple cycle. And then you have the red. Service entrance conductor number two. Those are those two live lines that come into your home. Then you have a service neutral, which is usually white. Sometimes you'll see, I don't have a, I didn't have a gray marker. I just did that. But, but you see basically white, especially as it goes out your branch circuits, you know, off of your circuit breakers, you'll see the white color. All right, that's what you have in your panel in your home. What does nature give you? Nature gives you the dark blood of your veins. And it sometimes looks black and it sometimes looks blue, especially if it's dried. I worked in many different hospitals. I've seen this. I've seen blood in living people and dead people. Your arteries. It's red. It's bright red. Arteries. Nature already gave you all this stuff. They gave you color coding. Nature already did this. What about your lymphatic system? Well, the fluids are off white or white, and sometimes they're even yellow or grayish. This is biology. Biology has already figured this out. And all we're doing is imitating. We're mimicking, mimicking biology. I know I took too long. I apologize. But there's a lot of things here that aren't just made up crap. I fashioned these things on a little bit on nature, a little bit on common sense. And I'm sorry I took so damn long.
So thanks for being incredibly patient, and I'll wrap it up in one or two more videos, and then I'll stop talking about electricity. Thank you.